was the best summer in my life. And yes, I was so happy and excited. In the same time, I went to visit my sister in USA. So it was really my pleasure to be there. And I was, I think, the most proud sister in the world. I remember every, every minute of Eurobasket. Uh, I remember first of all the first game when we lost against Russia, but uh, girls were so confident. Like we, we stayed together till the end and uh, this is our fourth year together. And we believe in each other, we believe in ourselves, we believe that everything happened for the reason and uh, we don't need to like let everything go so easily. So we just keep saying like me and my sister in our room like we're gonna be in final, don't worry Anna, don't worry, worry Millie, we're gonna be in final and that's happened for real. Like we have very hard games but we was waiting for the game against Turkey. And for us, that was the most important game. Like, we lost against Turkey already like two, three years in a row for a medal, yes. And we couldn't wait for that to happen. We really, like, was so focused. But the hardest game was against Belarus. We didn't play good, but like I say, we stayed together. Um, we didn't give up any moments. We fight, like, we left heart on the court. That was the most important thing. Uh, yes, we had that in mind, but in the locker room we was like singing the song, one of our famous song, and um, we just say, I just say like, of course, like a captain of the team, I say, girls, we are in the finals, so it doesn't matter, we lose or we win, we need to be happy like we was gold medal, like we win the gold medal, and everyone was so happy because of that, so we know it's gonna be hard, and friend, it's like, you know, friends team is uh, so many years together and it's special for me, of course, for coach, because she's coaching here in France. And, but we didn't give up. Even when I hurt myself, like uh, I say, everything happened for the reason. So I was happy to stand and support my girls and we were like a big family. And on the end, God see everything and the are some because we believe. Yes, for real. Like uh, I don't even want to. I don't. I don't know what to say about this year. Like it was for us so special. And Sonia Petrovic came. Paige was the new player here, and she came there like she was all the time with us. Like it was really nice time with the girls. Hard. Like we practiced like crazy, of course, with the coach. But uh, we know what we can do. And when we left, like when we start. We just say that we need to be like first five place. Like we didn't think about medal, not gold medal at all. And we just want to go on Olympics, like to fight for Olympics. But now we are going straight to Rio. <laughs> yes, that's my dream. Like that was my dream from the, like when I start to play basketball, I start with the five years. So now I'm like 28 years in the basketball and I'm gonna finish with my national team like with Rio. That's like the biggest wish I have in my life, basketball, like my, my, in my career. Yes, that was crazy, for real, like so amazing. Uh, never happened in, in, a, in a Serbia, that gold medal, European championship for the women. So when we came there, we, we was in the open bus and everyone was on the balcony, everyone yelled, everyone was like, congratulations, everyone was on the street, so many cars, and we was on the big balcony. And it was like amazing to see 15, 20,000 people uh, down. Yes, it was like, I don't know, for real, like my dream came true and it's the most important because I believe all this year, and I, I believe in miracles. Yes, it was planned and 
she really wants to do that because she has already opportunities so many years, but she say, okay, next year, next year. And now this is the, the, like the best moment and she was MVP, so now she's in the rookie team and she was, she was staying in LA. No, but she, just like this. She came, she know what she doing, like uh, really, she, her career is like the most, like, I know a couple career going like this, step by step, and she's the one of it, and I'm so happy. Yes, I, I uh, went uh, first time in USA. I was everywhere, like I visit everything, Las Vegas and LA, like I have just 15 days because I must come back to, to practice, to be ready for the season, but I will go next year again. I'm ready yet to play. <laughs> I never dream about NBA because about WNBA. I have opportunity when I play in Russia. They really want me to go and but no, I was so focused to come back home to be with my family because we have a huge family. And but now I can do like I can try. <laughs> like to finish my career I can try, but doesn't matter if it happened or not. You know, I'm I'm happy. I'm a happy person every day. No, no, that's enough for me. I just want to stand there and, you know, have that circle with the best people, players or whatever in the world and that's all I want.